A very good evening. Plans for Britain's second high-speed rail link between London and Birmingham are to be reviewed because of concerns it could damage an area of outstanding natural beauty. The government is looking into whether to build an extra tunnel through countryside north of London, costing around half a billion pounds. The study means a final decision on whether the whole project should go ahead will be delayed. Our political correspondent, Ben Gagan, reports. This is what getting from London to Birmingham could be like in the future. A train travelling at up to 250 miles an hour, the journey time cut to less than 50 minutes. But the plans for the high-speed link are controversial because the route passes through some prime countryside. Some people are opposed because of the cost, likely to be around £33 billion. So the government is thinking of changing part of the route in order to win over the critics. The fact that the government is now tinkering with the line shows a clear commitment to the project. Uh, High-speed rail is going to support the creation of thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs uh, in the north and the Midlands. It's going to really help it rebalance our regional economies and uh, it's going to provide the UK with the rail capacity it so badly needs. If it's built, the new route will be 100 miles long. The reported changes would affect the area outside Amersham in Buckinghamshire. At the moment, the plan is for part of the track to pass through two tunnels. The government is now considering adding an extra stretch of tunnel to join them together. And that would mean all of the track in this part of the Chilterns would be underground. The proposed route will cut through some pretty spectacular scenery, including this part of the Chiltern Hills in Buckinghamshire. It'll also go through the constituencies of several Conservative MPs. So by building an extra bit of tunnel, the government may be hoping that it can bury a political problem. Adding more tunnel could cost an extra £500 million, money which would be saved through other engineering changes on the track. But one Conservative councillor doesn't think these latest proposals will weaken the opposition to the line. And we really need to know where this £500 million has actually come from um, and who's going to suffer potentially as a result of it. But our objection really is a principled one because of the business case, because of the poor environmental gain on this and the fact there are much better alternatives to the £33 billion that they're proposing to spend on this. The government is delaying its planned announcement on the high-speed link until the beginning of next year. If it decides to go ahead with the proposals, the new route is unlikely to be completed for another 15 years. Ben Gagan, BBC News, Amersham.